Hey everybody, welcome to my Sequential Games private information video. This is part one. Uh, we've got three things happening in the Sequential game. First, the player called Nature makes a move. And we don't know what that move is exactly. We know that there's a 25% chance that Nature will put us on the X tree or the left tree. And there's a 75% chance we'll wind up on the right tree or the Y tree. Uh, Player 1 is our first actual person in the game. And player 1 will then choose A or B. And player 2 will respond by playing L or R. Now, if this were a sequential game with perfect information, they would first observe nature's choice and then choose their subgame perfect Nash equilibrium. We have to do some... We're going to make this more interesting. And I'm going to introduce a problem with information here for player 1. Player 1 does not know what tree the game is on. Player 1 cannot observe whether nature chose X or Y. I'm going to let Player 2 know exactly what happened, and so Player 2 will not have the same information problem. While Player 1 doesn't know if we're at this node or this node, Player 2 will always know exactly if they're there or there or there or there. So. What we're going to be looking for now is something called a Bayesian Nash Equilibrium, or a BNE. The BNE is one where we basically have to deal with these probabilities. So, let's get started. We're going to start, as always, by backwards induction. Figure out what Player 2 needs to do. Well, Player 2's job is easy, because they have, comp they have all the information they need. If Nature goes X and Player 1 goes A, we'll be at this node. And the choice between left and right is a simple one because we just have to compare this payoff to this payoff. Player 2 is better off playing R if we're at that node. Now if nature goes X and player 1 goes B, we'll be at this node. And 4 is better than 2, and so player 2 will go left. Likewise, for YA, player 2 goes L, and for YB, player 2 goes right. Okay, there's player two strategy set. Any Bayesian Nash equilibrium has to include player two making those strategies. Now let's talk about strategy for player one, because this is where it gets more interesting. Player one doesn't know if player one is going to make this choice of A or this choice of A. And it makes a difference because player two's response is different depending on which one. There's a 25% chance we're on the left tree, in which case player two goes right. There's a 75% chance we're on the right tree, in which player two goes left. So I need to introduce you to the expectation operator, which just allows us to weight each outcome by the likelihood of it actually occurring. So for instance, I could say that the expectation for player one of playing A is equal to a 25% chance that they wind up getting this payoff of 2. Now why did I pick that one? There's a 25% chance we're in the left tree, in which case if I play A, that's player B's, that's player 2's response. And there's also a 75% chance that if I play A, I'll get nothing because we'd be there. And so my expected payoff then is just the weighted sum of those, and it just comes out to 0.5. Now what about for playing B? My expected payoff for player 1 of playing B is equal to 0.25 times 1 plus 0.75 times 4 which comes out to be 3.25. Now, this tells me something. Expected value of A is less than the expected value of B, which means I prefer B over A. So player one can't, doesn't know where the, which side of the thing they're on, which side of the game they're on. They can't observe nature's choice. But they do know that on average, they're better off choosing B than A. 
They won't win every time, but if they play this game enough times, they'll be better off doing B than A. And so a Bayesian Nash equilibrium is one where player one, in this case, is choosing B, and player two is responding by either playing left if they're on the X side of the tree, or playing Y, or sorry, or playing R if they're on the right side of the tree. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this version of the game. Uh, I mentioned this is just a part one video. Let me tell you where we're going on the next one so you can watch it if you're interested. See the link up there in the corner. Uh, I'm gonna add these kidney shapes to my information problems. So what if we have a situation like this, where player two is the one who can't observe what side of the tree they're on? Unsure if we can do this node or this node, or this node or this node. Uh, we're gonna see how the game changes if player two can't observe it, but player one can. So stick around and watch if you wanna. If not, thanks for watching guys. Happy econing.